Hi everyone and welcome back to our studios. Today in this video we are doing a twin telepathy challenge and we're going to be painting shirts. Today it is Ruby and myself. Rayleigh has actually got a mock A level so anytime that she's got she's revising at the moment. <laughs> And Jamie is behind the camera and he's actually planned the twin telepathy today, which is something that I normally do. Yeah, Mum's normally the director of the videos. We've never actually done a video together on our own. No, so we this haven't. Is, this is new. Yeah, in the past I've done twin telepathy videos, but that's just with radio as a group. Before we get started with this video, we just want to thank anyone for all the support on last week's video where we did the art swap. We got so many lovely comments and we just want to thank you for that. Yeah, you guys had some brilliant ideas as well as of how we can do that challenge again with different types of things. So we'll definitely be trying some of those yeah, out. Yeah, that, that video, it could be done in so many different ways. So it's quite a good video to film because it could mm. be a series. Yes. Rayleigh isn't here today, but she did actually inspire us to do this video. She painted her own denim shirt few months ago and I actually thought it was brilliant and so did Ruby so I'm going to show you what Rayleigh did. That is Rayleigh's painted denim shirt. Um, so Ruby yeah. actually wants one of these. I'm dying to have a like denim jacket literally exactly like this because I really want one which you can like wear kind of in the summer as like a coat sort of thing yes. to go over a nice outfit and this Gotta say, it's probably gonna be my inspiration for today. <laughs> it's twin telepathy, so don't give it away. It's not gonna be my inspiration <laughs> for today. So this is what Rayleigh did, and I actually went to a charity shop today and got two denim shirts. They cost £4.50 each. Oh, a um, bargain. Yeah, so I'll show you those. This is what we're going to be painting today, again, from uh, Sue Ryder Charity Shop. Yeah, so quite excited for this. So if you haven't seen one of our twin telepathy challenges before, how it's going to work is there's going to be seven rounds which Jamie has already prepared for us. Each round out is going to give us an option of different items, for example, colours, paints, themes, and we're going to have to pick them based on what we think the other person's going to pick to try and get the same thing. If we get the same one, we'll get a point. If we get the different one, we'll get no point. So we've now got the board up and we're going to close our eyes so that Dad can give us whatever we're going to be choosing for the first round. Probably paint, I'm guessing. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 you've gone right in there, Jamie, with uh, something. Oh. Normally, we normally have colours first. What we're going to be like painting. Oh. We have <gasps> pop art, abstract, yeah. and nature. Oh. This is difficult. Okay. I'm going to start eliminating. So you're gonna start eliminating. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick this one. I don't think Mum is gonna pick it, and I think it's not very. I feel like it doesn't match what either of us will go, be going for. I guess. Okay, now you say something. So I think that Ruby is going to do that one. However, I would really like to do that one. So I am a bit torn here. But it is a twin telepathy, so I guess I've got to choose what I think you're going to choose, even though I want to choose another one. I want to choose this one, and I think you're going to choose this one. So I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to choose this one. Okay, Jamie, round two. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. No, we're in a pile. So, oh. Okay. I get this. So we've got unframed illustrations which is basically it doesn't have a frame in it, it you can uh -huh. paint wherever you want and it doesn't have a limit to where you're doing it frame painting is basically it's in one space and you just like very in a square i guess ah okay and small pattern is small yeah like a ditzy little pattern a yeah. ditzy little pattern <laughs> ditzy means dumb mom it doesn't mean dumb yeah it does well, where I come from, it means little like ditzy because you have like ditzy patterns, like little flowers. Dumb patterns. <laughs> oh, okay. I already know what I want to pick, but I'll let you talk. Ruby, this is a twin telepathy. But I, I think you're going to pick it as well. Okay. Again, I would actually like to do that, but I don't think Ruby's going to do it. So it's between these two. Definitely eliminated that one. If. Ruby has chosen that, which I think she has. I think she'll choose that. 
I think based on what you said, if I chose what you're talking about, then it's pretty certain that you're wrong about this one. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to choose this one. On to the next round. Three, two, one. <gasps> Paint. Thank goodness. Oh, that's difficult, that is, because oh. it's like it's like the two colours you want the most. Absolutely no idea here. This is just like... It's difficult. This is like either or, isn't it? I don't know why, but because they're so opposite, but I always feel like red and blue like, are the same colour. Like, they aren't, but like, they do... The, the main colours. Yeah, it's kind of like what the other person likes the best, but mm. it's quite tricky because I actually don't know which one you like the best at all of these two. Ruby, have we got black and white for this? Um... You do have black and white. A box of painting stuff for you, Tracy. And a box of painting stuff for you, Ruby. Thank you. It doesn't help me. Ooh. Me neither. <laughs> I've chosen. You've chosen. This was a very difficult decision, but I just went with a fact which I can't say. And I think you're gonna choose this one. This is this is just picking straws. Picking straws. Ooh. <laughs> Never heard that before. <laughs> picking straws. I've decided what I'm going to pick and I think Ruby will pick this one. So I'm gonna pick this one. And I'm gonna pick this one. Colour two. Three, two, one. <gasps> Oh gosh, okay. It depends on what you've just chosen, to be fair. I think this is quite easy. So, okay, I think not. And I think, yes. Personally, I do not like this color. So it's an immediate no for me. And I think mum knows this. As far as I know, I'm not sure that you're keen on any of these. So that doesn't really help me. Do you know what I'm picking? I think you're picking this one. Okay, so I'm going to pick this one. And I'm going to pick this one. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This is quite easy. Is it? Oh, I've got gosh. To mm. I kind of know what you choose, I think, for this. However, I'm not sure that I'm going to choose that one for this one. But I am definitely going to pick this one. I think if mum knows what I know, then she'll pick this as well. Honestly, at this point, I'm more thinking about the colours. I think I'm going to have to go with that one. Is that the one you thought I had? I don't know. No, it's not, maybe, is it? Maybe not. Anyway, so I'm going to go for this one. And I'm going to go for this one. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh! Ooh, okay. Oh, we've got a nice little bundle here, Ruby. <laughs> yeah. So we have a gold Posca pen and like gold bronze paint and silver Posca pen and silver paint. Mm. This is quite difficult. I think this is really about what you've chosen, to be honest, because you don't want to mess it up at this point. Well, it's also about what we both like. So there's one point where you would never choose that. You'd always choose that. I know Rayleigh now would choose that because she's kind of changed. I don't know whether you would. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, with that in mind then, I'm gonna go for the one that I think you might like, even though it is not what I would choose. Aww. I'm going to choose that one. And I'm gonna choose this one. On to the final round. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Oh, actually we can mix this with the paints, Ruby. Uh, <gasps> what, what I'm doing, that'll look pretty. I think the nicest one on what we're doing is that one. I think Ruby will choose that one. I think the nicest one here is this one. I think Mum will pick this as well. So I'm picking that one. And I'm picking this one. So we've got all our materials and our shirts and we've got an Amazon envelope which we're going to use to basically prepare our shirts for painting. Let's put it in. Yay. This also means that you have a flat surface to paint on so it's 10 times easier to do because obviously painting on clothes sometimes can be so difficult. Done. So we are now ready to start our designs. So the first thing we're going to do is basically mark out roughly before we paint. Mum, what are you drawing? I've done one. Of what? Of one of my, your design. Oh, I thought I could stomp you off. So that's mine. I 
need it to be a bit more symmetrical, but I'll kind of work on that with the paint. This is mine. You can't really see it that much, but you'll get the gist of what it is as I start painting. So I'm going to start with this colour. I think I'm going to start with this colour. Okay, so I'm excited. I'm going to start painting. Let's go. Ruby, I have a tip for you. Mm -hmm. Make sure when you mix your colours that you mix more than you think. I'm probably not going to get the same colour now. The thing about painting, it goes on really nice, but it absorbs the paint. You can prime it first by just using white. Obviously, we haven't done that, so. But it is nice. It does paint really lovely. Okay, so this is mine. I've done one of my designs now and I'm really happy with it. I've just got the other one to paint now. This is mine, this is how it's looking so far. I really, really love the colour mix together and I think I'm doing really well with the ombre effect as well. All I need to do now is the other one and then I can go on to the final detailing. the main design now the main painting and I'm really happy with it yeah so have I I really really love mine obviously it's not like fully finished but I think by the end of it when I do like my final detailing and stuff like that it's gonna look really really nice and yeah I really love it that is mine really happy with it it did take a while I did have to use quite a few layers of paint so basically I've got to do some detailing and some highlights and then I think it's pretty much done. I don't know about you, Ruby. Yeah, I'm kind of the same. I need to kind of add the, uh, like a certain effect to mine. So I need to add like highlights and the Posca pen and outlines. And I think that's about it. Okay, so we will finish our designs and then we will be back to you guys for the final reveal. just realized that I haven't used one of my colors. Dun, dun, dun. I actually made sure I used all my colors, mum. Okay. What color haven't you used? Ah, you always try it on Ruby, I'm telling you. Mum did take a bit longer than me, actually quite a lot longer than me. I'm sure it will pay off when I see it. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think we can take this down now, Ruby. I'm actually so happy with mine, I'm so excited. I've now turned mine over without Ruby seeing and I'm going to show you guys on Ruby at the same time. So, three, two, one. That is mine. <gasps> oh my gosh! Do you like? Wow! <laughs> I see why that took so much time. Oh, thank goodness. That's unreal. Do you like it? Oh my gosh! No, that looks so cool! They're very different. Are they? Very different. I picked nature. I painted two butterflies, uh, which didn't take that long, but what did take a long time was obviously the black, mm -hmm. which I initially thought I was going to do with Posca pen. Yeah. Realised that wasn't going to cut it because it wasn't strong enough, so had to do it in black paint. Um, it looks like you just printed something off and stuck it. It's does. so like symmetrical. I just wear this as a jacket, you know, like over a t-shirt in the yeah, summer. Yeah. It's um, really good, really good. Well done. Thank you very much. Yeah. I can okay. I can see you wearing that. I've got to say before I show you mine, I really like yours, but I do think that I would wear mine more. I think they're more my style. They would look really good in a pair of shorts, like a pocket. So do I. Yeah. It is quite loud, isn't it? This? That that is the thing. Yeah. You have to style it right, but it's, it looks perfect on that. Ready? Three, two, one. 
This is mine. This is mine. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Wow, that is, oh, I love it. That is, that is just amazing. I love the, um, the body of them. How, yeah. did you do, how did you do that? It looks almost like 3D. What, what part of it? The lines? This. Oh, this, that's just, that's like a mix of doing little lines of Posca and also just kind of like blending it because I did ombre blending and I went from like black to blue to purple. I added some highlights to make it look more 3D and then I added glitter because I thought it looked pretty. That, you've blown me away with that actually. I'm so happy with this. I'm, I'm gonna wear it so much, I already know it. I'm absolutely blown away. I think it's absolutely brilliant, I really do. And that design would look great on jean pockets, on... I think the thing about that, it's really elegant. Yeah. I like yours better than mine. Really? I, yeah, I do. Nobody said what I'm thinking. This is a twin telepathy ruby and we've done the same thing. We've both done... Oh my gosh, we... We didn't even know. I think it was the influence of Rayleigh's, wasn't it? I think that so. That was what it was, because yeah. I saw hers and I was like, I really want to like take off what she's done and like do my own like that. So they look really different. Did we get loads wrong? We Did got, you get yellow or green? I got yellow, I got green, oh. yellow, and red. I got blue, that purple, and yellow. That's yellow, but I put glitter over it so it went like white. Did you use your Posca pen? I did, I did two silver eyes. I, I got silver, but I didn't use it. Okay. Oh, so we did all right. Then yeah. we, got, we, we, got, we got five. Oh yeah, yes. the category. Yes, well done. They're our final painted shirts. And I have to say, really pleased with this. Hope we've inspired you to have a go at painting your own denim or shirts or jeans. It's definitely nice because then you get your own like, personalised piece of clothing out of it and it's really pretty in summary. What we do need to do is seal these and basically, well this is what Rayleigh always does, she puts parchment paper over yeah. and then irons over and I guess we could also put Mod Podge but the ironing parchment paper always seems to work. Especially so. with glitter, it's probably a need us, it will flake yes, off. Definitely. So that is the end of our video, we really hope you enjoyed it. Any ideas for painting anything else, clothes or otherwise, please comment below and let us know. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we post a new video. So that's it for this week. We'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.